Hello, good morning. Today we are going to speak about the evaluation of C expressions. In my part 1, in my lecture part 1, I have explained about the arithmetical operators of binary arithmetical operators. Now I am going to discuss about the unary arithmetical operators. The unary arithmetical operators are uh, basically there are two types here, two, two arithmetical operators. One is called plus plus minus minus. This is called an increment operator and this is called a decrement operator. So it is increment operator, this is decrement operator. So it increments it by only one. And it takes only one operand, therefore they are called unary operators. And uh, writing a plus plus or plus plus a, both are same as long as they are not part of any expression. As I said, this is called an increment operator. If you write C++, the meaning is C is assigned to C++. The new value of C is 1 more than the old value of C. So, if the value of C is 5, the value present here is 5. And if you write C++, this 5 will go and 6 will come. And whether you write, as I just now said, whether you write A++ or plus plus A, there is no difference at all. So whether you write C++ or plus plus C, as long as it is individual, I mean it is not part of any other statement, there is no difference at all. And similarly, you write C minus minus or minus minus C. C minus minus or minus minus, both are, again the both are same and they are the decrement operators. So decrement operator decreases it by 1. Increment operator increases the value of that particular variable by 1. So once again, if you write the initial value of a is 5 and if I write minus minus a, so this 5 will be removed and 4 the new value it receives. That's what I said. This is equal into writing it as a is assigned a minus 1 or a minus minus. It is also the same. So as I said, as long as it is not part of any expression, there is no difference at all. But once it becomes part of the expression, then one has to be careful. The position of plus plus is going to influence the value of the uh, expression. If you write a plus plus, if you write y is assigned a plus plus, here plus plus is written after a and hence it is called a post increment operator. It is increment operator only, but you call it as post increment post increment operator. If you write plus plus a, you call it as the pre increment operator. Incrementation is there, but the only matter of whether it's post or pre. So how it affects an expression? If you write y is a plus plus, or if you write here, if a is 5, and if you write in y is a plus plus, what happens is what value of a should be taken in this expression is important. But as it is called the post increment, post increment, so what happens is first the value of a is taken. So this y is writing this y assigned to a plus plus, it is equivalent to writing y is a and then a plus plus. Similarly, if you write here y is plus plus a, here first what happens is the value of a is incremented then the new value will be substituted in this place. Uh, that's how it becomes a plus plus, then y is a. So a plus, first a is incremented. So first the value of a is incremented and then y becomes 6, contrary to this. So similarly, you have a decrement operator which works in the same fashion as this. As you say, if you write a is 5, and we write y is minus minus a. As I just now said, it is called a pre-decrement. So first a is decreased and then the value of a is assigned. Similarly, if you write a, if you write y is assigned a minus minus, so it is equivalently first y becomes a, then the value of a is the value of a is decremented by 1. And if you observe here, one expression where both the increment and decrement pre and post both are present. If a is 5 and b is 6, if I write y is assigned plus plus a plus b minus minus, 
here it is plus plus a it means the first value of a is incremented so first a becomes 6 and that 6 will be substituted here and here the second one is a b minus minus it is post decrement so first the value of b is taken so value of b is 6 that 6 is taken so 6 and 6 the value of the expression is uh, the value of this expression is 12 and y receives the value 12 but coming to the value of a it becomes 6 uh, coming to the value of b, b it is 5 so this is how we understand the, the difference between pre-increment and post-increment or pre-decrement and post-decrement. But one thing very important is the value of that particular variable is decreased. What matters is whether the old value of the variable is to be used or new value of the variable is to be used is matters. Thank you.